now we are live okay cool all right everything has been reset as far as losses and expenditures go we are all clear right there uh as everybody notices i'm wearing a cold weather hat because you know we're in russia and it's late september and you barbarians have stole nearly everything you stole the electric heater in the control room I left to get another electric heater, and I came back, and you stole the outlets on the wall. So, whichever one of you is doing that, please stop. But, uh, all right. So, today we have Operation Ultima Weapon coming from us from our very own Davin Valkyrie. So, we're going to run down over the mission plan here. Uh, first thing that's going to happen is we have group, uh, where is it? Group Eidolon running a whole bunch of tornadoes. We are going to have uh, three flights of tornadoes, each with two groups of two. Let me pull up my order of battle here, see. All right, so the first thing we are going to be looking at is group Ifrit. Ifrit. That is going to be Hellfire and Hawaiian Pizza and Domai and Otter, both running Brimstones, Damocles Pods, they are going to be covering over here. So we have a few different areas set up. Uh, Point Afrit is going to be covering the area around Savunga. We have Point Shiva that is going to be covering right up close. And then we have area Ramu that is going to be covering uh, the eastern side of St. Lawrence. So the close up is going to be. Shiva, who is Shiva? Let's see, Shiva is coffee and fish sandwich and dandy and buzzkill. Uh, Ramu, the larger area, is going to be Mojangle and Swam, Phantom Wedge Cree, and Lamora and God. So we have got a pretty good uh, group there. Let's see, we have uh, a Mirage, Group Garuda. Now, I have grouped a few of these together just to save on my own sanity here. So the Mirage is piled by Spark, piloted by Sparkmaster. Sparkmaster is carrying a 400 kilogram bomb, everybody's favorite. And then uh, we have a pair of AMXs piloted by Dagon and Grapeshot, running laser guided bombs. At the moment, we have got um, 7 to 16,000 feet with moderate middle clouds, sea state of about a 5. Uh, this is going to vary as time goes on. As you guys know, the weather is getting better. Uh, so it's going to be a little less crappy than it is right now. All right, we have um, our Carl Dormans, our boats, boat lobby representing with the Carl Dormans. Carl Dormans are going to path themselves around the island. And so this is going to take a month of forever, so likely they will not even make it around the island by then. Uh, let's see. We are going to have our Atlantic. Our Atlantic. Uh, what's the name of that mission? Wedge. We are going to have Whale, Psychosocial, and Peanut running an exoset in case any boats come straying nearby. And then we're also going to have Biggs. Biggs is our sole OECM. Uh, OECM will not go live until we are engaged or are engaging. Uh, the same is going to go with Crystal, which is S100 uh, Saab, run by iSpy, Roamer, SkyEye, and Loudmouth. For the moment, we are going to be ECM, radar, everything quiet until we get into the operation. Once all of that has happened, oh, I forgot, we have group Jacobo, who is going to be our cargo planes. We are going to have two cargo planes. We are going to have Pike in the C-130J Hercules and first base in the CN-235-200 carrying cargo. That is going to be heading to Savunga to load up the device and the mercenaries as well. Uh, Kabi's troops are covering the ground. At the moment, they're doing a patrol to keep anything from coming up around the hill. Uh, we have got uh, our Bell UAV. 
The bell's looking pretty good. Uh, we swapped it over to our control, but because it's not really under our control, it's just going to kind of wander around. Uh, as well, we're going to have some uh, helos taken off from the Carl Dormans doing maritime surveillance. Try to keep an eye out for anything coming there. Uh, let's see. Once everything gets rolling, you're going to see all of these ground ops happen first for a close air support. Uh, Alabama National Guard is still working their way across Savunga. I would expect, or towards Savunga. At a certain point, they're going to start making some good progress. Hopefully that uh, all of our brimstones and Damocles and bombs can take care of that. Or we're out of there by the time they get to Savunga. And then at that point, we don't care. But once everything starts running, we are going to have group Enemies of Light. Enemies of Light is going to swoop down to this generic area. Uh, we've got a lot of different points. Some of them are fairly close. Others are not. Uh, we've got patrol areas back and forth. Nothing here is going to engage until we give the order to. And I've created a couple of missions for strike missions just to take care of that. Uh, to start out with that, we are going to have our three remaining Grippins. Group Bahamut, Unicorn, Sonic Assassin, and Ventura. Running Meteors, Max Intercept. We are going to have Group Tonberry. Group Tonberry is our four phantoms. Guns, 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 and Space Case, Pop at Gemini, Hellhammer, and Sam Fodder, and Zackleway and Red Comet. That's right, we did let them come back and fly. We have a pair of F-16s in Warmack. Nesso Berry in Burning and PC-1 in RARX. At the same time, we had a few of our soft crap left, so I decided that uh, I would pick out the longest ranging setup it had. So we are going to have some solve crap on this mission. It is pretty much just going to reach the edge, patrol for about five minutes, and have to turn around immediately. They have no in-flight refueling. Uh, we're going to have Group Cactuar in our Kafirs. We have Blue Shift running derbies and Maximum Fuck as well. Uh, fueling, we are going to have Group Bomb, a VC-10 K4, Maverick, and a Tanker. And then we are also going to have Marlboro, not Marlboro, as I have it, Marlboro. Big Pig, KC-135, going to be patrolling the pig pen just off the line here. And then, um, oh, the Canadians. The Canadians, around some point in time when they finished up with their poutine, are going to be taking off from Emonac and following a flight plan to take them over here. They're going to turn around and come back. They will not engage unless they are engaged. We might get there before they do. Uh, there's a little variance there. I think that about covers it. Uh, I got the Carl Dormans. Got Group Moogle with Cobby and the boys. Uh, Cobby has a few messages for us here a little bit later on. Um, I think we can be good. Uh, what we can expect. We can expect. We have MiG-31 Foxhounds. That's right. That's what we're looking at right there. We are guaranteed. We already know that they're there. Intel shows they're taking off as well. We are going to be running into... We don't even have a picture. Oh, there it is. That's right. That is their Gen 5 stealth fighter. Is it Gen 5? Is it like Gen 3 and 3 quarters? Okay, something like that. Um, and then we'll also likely be running into uh, some flankers. Which, do I have a photo of the flankers? Yes, I do. Look at that. we got flankers as well on ready standby, as well as probably some more MiGs and some packs. Uh, I don't know exactly what's in the air. As I've told you guys before, a lot of this is randomly generated. So I know pretty much what we're going to run into, but to keep it interesting for myself, yeah, okay, it is Gen 5. All right. If uh, Because I want to keep it kind of interesting and not just have it where I'm following a script. So on some of my variations, I know exactly what's going to come. I mean, there's only so many cure ups coming. But with things like planes, there's a random number generator and a script, and it's going to grab low side to the high side. I've been doing this all the way since Tibet. So 
Speaking of targets, we have the maze. We are looking for those. That is the target. We have, at last report, two, possibly three U.S. Navy subs that were streaming as quickly as they could to get north of this Kirov group. This is what's going to give them a bad day. So it's our job. This is the only critical thing here. Anything else we kill, icing on the cake. We're bad mercenaries because there is no destructo bucks on this one. We're doing this out of the goodness of our mercenary hearts and to free ourselves up some procurement options down the road. We have satellites for the moment. These satellites will go away. Uh, one reason is because there's a lot of turmoil in the CIA. Our feed will be chopped. The other reason is it really gets kind of messy when you have different satellites and different vectors and you get different areas and things moving around. So to make it so the screen looks nice, we're going to take care of that. Uh, uh, because I had some complaints last time, I have tried to match up the volume that I have with the volume that Kabi will have. So you don't get uh, angry New Zealand man screaming in your ear. So hopefully that uh, that's taken care of. But all right, we are going to get rolling. I'm going to save the game. This is version 96. That's right. Every time I make a little revision or a change or add things, I change the revision levels. And it's going to be pretty wild. So I am going to clean up this area. Not all these contacts were here or will remain here. Okay. All right, I am just checking the streams. I am going to try to glance back and forth. We're going to take our time on this. I'm not in any particular hurry. Hopefully none of you guys are either. There's a lot going on in this mission, and I don't want to get caught up doing one thing or the other. So we're going to clear up our points. Carl Dormans are going to be dormaning about. Airfield is tilted. They shouldn't shoot at anything they shouldn't supposed to. Yeah, you can see the path they're going to take right here. I'm going to take them uh, kind of over by Dutch Harbor. And then cut through the Aleutians, bring them off over to Safe Harbor. But for the time being, let's get some planes in the air. You guys ready? Because here we go. Should the U.S. be red? Yeah, because all of that is still uh, the iceberg. That's kind of, that's different side. Yeah, that's, that's where the nuge is coming from. So nothing there is going to shoot at us. And to be honest, there's not much of assets they have anyways. Yeah, the, the tuge. <clears throat> Pardon me. I hate for him to get those two things mixed up. All right. Um, okay. All right, here we go. I am hitting the button. We are going live. All right, immediately we have got, <coughs> pardon me, a little bit of allergies this time of the year. Oh, and we got all kinds of contacts. We're going to take a look at the first one. Uh, we've got a better look at the new port sitting on the beach. We've got a landing craft. This is coming out of our UAV. On top of that, we have got a wide range of whole bunch of stuff. Uh, we've got a bunch of radar contacts. Uh, fishing boat, looks like. Generic nav, nav. Another fishing boat or a trawler. Let's see, check another contact report. Also a trawler. Uh, Utiloy, okay. Uh, these bands of probability mean that because we only have one point, that it's starting to kind of, it has to grab, it, it knows it's somewhere here, but it could be as close as there or as far away as that. So somewhere inside of that band is where the trouble people are. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's our Kirov. Everybody loves the Kirov. I got no photo of the Kirov. Okay. Looks like they're running jammers. No surprise. Uh, oh, that's an A50 mainstay, IL-76. 
They have uh, an AEW bird in the air. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything else? It looks like at the moment, yes, we have a sea dragon. That is going to be our May. We have one May. And we have two Mays in the air at the moment. Possibly more. So we're going to keep moving. As you're going to see, the satellite's going to move along. All of this stuff is going to kind of do its thing. Let me clear the log. Yes, the satellites are extraordinarily useful, but at the same time, they, uh, as you can see, once you start getting this, oh, there we go. We just got some confirmation on what a lot of this is. As you can see a lot of our bands of probability have now turned red. We've got a May. We've got a mainstay. We have another May. It could be as far out as this or as close as that. Uh, once we move along, you should be able to see these move, and uh, we'll get a better idea. Yeah, you can see we get a real good idea of where these Kiravs are, good idea of where the Udaloi is. Uh, the Mays, they've got a weaker radar, and I believe they're probably going to run a lower altitude because they're dropping uh, Sano buoys, so they're going to be a little harder to see. Okay, we've got another bogey picked up. What do we got? We got all kinds of stuff in the air. We got a May, we got a May, a mainstay. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Helicopters. Not surprising. And again, we got some bands of probability over here. Looks like we got some civilians we're picking up on. Yeah, this isn't looking too terrible. We got, we got a lot better vector on these maze. We got two maze running the front end of the battle group. Got a bit of a radar shadow at the moment where we're not picking anything up. Oh, we just got a uh, another scan. So you guys can get an idea of where about these maze are running as far as distance. Whether or not it will remain that way, uh, we'll have to get in the air and see. Got a civilian in the area. Another skunk. Another skunk. All right, take up the time. I wanted to just uh, run through that, give everybody a good idea of what was going on. Now that we have uh, gotten a good update, I'm going to take the time up a little bit until we get some birds in the air. Uh, as you can see, we have got our first helicopter up, uh, Maritime Surveillance. It is a NH-90 from the Carl Dormans, doing whatever... Um, Whatever it does when it looks around for bad people, I guess. Uh, Cobby's troops are doing a low-speed patrol around the area. Some of them are holding tight. Once the planes land, they are all... Oh, speaking of that, we have got Dandy, Buzzkill, and Coffee and Fish Sandwich in the air. Ooh, we have got another Sea Dragon uh, way back down off the Kamchatka Peninsula. Possibly more taking off. All right. Uh, yeah, at the moment. Oh, we got another bogey. Gonna be another May. We got a couple of Mays coming off from down there. Oops. All right. Let me see. I might have to make an exclusion zone here. So coffee, fish sandwich, and dandy buzzkill have gotten a bit ahead of themselves. So I'm going to exclude this area. Otherwise, they're going to try to go hunt that thing. 
Oops. And that should take care of it. There we go. Now they're heading back to the patrol area. We really don't want them to uh, go straying off into wild territory. That would go against the orders. All right. Let me see. How is this all looking? First base just took off. Uh, we are picking up some more bogeys. Looks like. Let's see, we got a contact report. Probably another May. Gives us a pretty wide group of Mays that are taken off. They're going to be a while. That's kind of a slow plane. All right. Uh, looks like we're going to have some brimstones. Weather is still 7 to 16,000 feet. We're going to have a weather change here in a few minutes. That's right. Every hour the weather changes. I'm just lazy like that. Another new contact. Uh, another, another sea dragon. Well, they must have uh, seen something of interest if they're putting them all up. Or maybe they saw us coming up and they decided to try to take care of them subs while they can. All right, satellite is now passing directly over St. Lawrence, going over Alaska. We will have a comms blackout with the satellite for a little while when we lose coverage. Uh, we either have to wait for another orbit or we have, uh, let's see, USA 267 is not in a good orbit. We know where the Russian satellites are. I don't know how good of an orbit that they're going to come in. I'm not going to do the whole orbital path thing. I can pull up on uh, the game and actually see that the predicted movement of all of the satellites I'm not going to do that, but you can do that if you want to. All right, we can see the uh, time's getting up. At a certain point, we're going to get beyond the curvature of the Earth, and a satellite is going to lose contact with all of these. Okay, we have got Phantom Wedge Cree and Domai and Otter. <clears throat> Let's see, the bell is still belling about. We'll take time up a little bit. All right, we have Mojangle Swim, Hellfire Hawaiian Pizza, Phantom Wedge Cree, and Domayan Otter all in the air. First Base and Pike are both inbound. Make sure I'm merging rain symbols, yes. All right, we have got a whole train of people coming in. Uh, we've got a weather change coming up in roughly a moment. Let's see. Leading it up is going to be Coffee Fish Sandwich. All right. The weather has changed. Temperature is now 5 degrees Celsius. Rainfall is going to be kind of light rain, moderate rain. Cloud level, light, low clouds, five to 7,000 feet. Sea state is a 6. It's pretty rough on the ocean. Uh, we might get a few more resolutions. See what the light clouds, see if our bell can see through it. Oh, and look at that. We are going to start getting a uh, change in contact. I'm going to start changing this stuff to hostile. All right, we have mechanized infantry. No surprise there. More mechanized infantry. Let's see. We've got a group of... Uh, we have a SAM. We have no emissions report at the moment. All right, our AMX is not going to be engaged until the weather changes. More mechanized infantry. All right, we have folks inbound. Yep, we've got uh, all of our patrols are going to be coming in. Some of them are going to be restrained to this area until we are all done. Uh, another hostel, another group of SAMs. Uh, sea state goes to nine. Zero being calm, nine being, uh, actually maybe it's ten. 
10 being, think, hurricane, typhoon type level. Yeah. Yeah, 9 is ridiculous. All right, our bell is on a nice patrol. We've got a pretty good idea. We've got a lot of stuff. Our AMX is not going to engage until the weather changes. All right, let's zoom in. We'll slow down time, and we will see. Okay, we've lost all our contacts. Uh, our satellite is now gone. So all of our range of probabilities is going to start to grow. We know there's stuff here. We don't know exactly where it is. But let's go in, and we will see Coffee Fish Sandwich and Dandy Buzzkill going in. Shiva Flight. We have Missiles Away. Uh, that's going to be Brimstones. Yeah, look at that sexy thing. Whole bunch of brimstones. Oh, boy, look at all the brimstones. Behind that, we've got Mojangle and Swam, Phantom and Wedge Cree. Domai and Otter is holding on one of our other patrol areas. They are likely not going to engage until anybody gets close. Oh, yeah. Look at all of those brimstones. Oh, yeah, that is a bunch of surplus Bradleys that are about to have a, uh, a bad day. Yep. Okay, brimstones are going live. Illuminating targets. Oh, yeah, it looks like they got full racks. They... They've got a pair of brimstones left between the two of them. So, yeah, this is going to be ugly in a second here. Oh, boy. Okay, penetration. Penetration. That unit is gone. Wow, it looks like they fired pretty much every brimstone at every single infantry platoon. Okay, well, not like a little overkill. We've got a pair of... Um, Oh, look at that brimstones. Oh, they're circling around, trying to re-acquire, uh, maybe? Yeah, they're just going to run out of fuel. There's not much there for them. Uh, we got a couple brimstones going to that SAM group. Yeah. Oh, and they're going live. Let us see. What do we got here? Going in, going in, going in. Uh, the Sam's Avenger is down. We've still got... Uh, oh. oh, it looks like we're down to one mechanized infantry platoon that we can see. Mojangle and Swam. They are down to four brimstones, and okay, that uh, that's the last of those. Hopefully one of our guys will get an eye on anything else, but at the moment, we're going to clear the log. Uh, any hostiles that we saw initially are gone. Goes to show that it is very difficult to operate without either a modern SAM platform or without air cover of your own. All right, we've got the Carl Dormans making their way around the island. Um, we've still got the Russians rushing about. Our planes will continue to fly a search pattern until we call them off. Uh, there's a, oh, look at that, Slon Jr. and the SU-7 fitter. Look at that thing. Oh, yeah. Well, that is a plane running uh, anti-tank bomblets. Oh, we do like the cluster bombs, don't we? All right. Well, hopefully that uh, Salon Jr. can get on a target. That would be entertaining. A lot of flight time. Oh, no. No, 17 minutes. Okay, that's not going to last long. All right, we have Pike and first base coming in. They'll be landing in a moment, and then that'll be Cobby's cue to get his boys in. All right. 
take time up a second. We're going to have a little gap here as a few different things happen. Planes patrolling a boat. Our bell is belling a boat. Oh, look at that. We just got a message. It says, hired goons. Stalin the dog had good time driving bulldozer. Many sparks. Angry man and you go and you try to hurt Stalin, but Ivan the bear squish him. We eat fish now and drink. Hey, look at that. So there's a radar, a Tarak radar in Ugalni, and guess what? It's been knocked out by one of our circus contacts friends. Look at that cute dog driving a bulldozer. I didn't know a dog could drive a bulldozer. All right, I do love stalling the dog. So there, that takes care of the nearest uh, radar that could have given the hired goons trouble. You know, just because uh, I'm curious. We'll see if we can use Slon Jr. and drop some uh, cluster bombs on that Newport. How's that sound? Oh, we just got the big pig just took off in the Strato tanker. Uh, what has he got? Oh, that's going to be the Mitsuhashi stuff anchored in the port there. Yeah, we just might give that dog a plane. Let's see if our cluster bombs can hit anything. I've never actually dropped. This thing is 500 feet above sea level. And it's going in with a bunch of anti-tank bomblets. Oh, 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 look at that. We're going to zoom in and get this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We just, uh, we hit that new port. Team War Crimes. Everybody should be, uh, should be quite pleased. Slon Jr. Uh, just, just nailed that new port with a bunch of uh, anti-tank bomblets. I don't know if it's going to do anything, but I do believe that is our second successful uh, cluster bombing. Uh, once units come around, maybe somebody will get a look at that thing. Oh, light damage. That's cool. Do we have, uh, can I get a better damage report? No, not without switching sides. Oh, yeah, that's cool, though. Yeah, yeah, don't go digging for clams there. I don't think that one had napalm. Or if it did, I just grabbed the bomblets because I thought that sounded like fun. But all right, now is when we start getting into the tricky portion. The distance from Prompt Air Base and La Rentilla up in the north down to our area of operations is stretching about the distance of where we can operate. Right now, we're going 300 nautical miles. You're going to see planes come here, get almost all the way there, and top off with gas. Yes, I know it's a little frustrating to watch somebody go for gas seconds before they would have done something interesting, but it's a lot better than watching our planes drop into the sea. Um, so the timing of this has been critical. Our tankers are going to be taking off, and in a moment we are going to see our uh, other jets taking off. Hopefully everybody's going to be moving about the same speed. All right, I'm going to see if uh, we have Pike on the ground. He is taxiing to a parking spot. First base in the CN-235 is coming in as well. i got to call Cobby when that comes in. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, we will get them in. I just read a cool paper talking about uh, UAV refueling on carrier groups. I thought that sounded pretty cool. And everybody's going to start to refuel because that's what they do. All right, well, we lit a, uh, lit a Newport on fire. That's kind of cool. All right, Mission Crystal has been activated. That is going to be our S-100. Again, some of our planes are slower than others. Oh, we have a contact. What do we have there? Oh, it's a crow tail. Oh, shit. Looks like Bering Sea Native Corp still has a few things rolling around. 
Uh oh. Oh. That's it for the bell. Okay. Um. Uh, that's a bummer. All right. Let's see. We have got uh, tornadoes going possibly in. Oh, it's one of them surface-to-surface uh, -surface missile uh, battalions. Oh, don't worry. You guys will get... Uh, let's see. Can they saturate enough brimstones? They are clear. Dagon is going in. Got some paveways. All right. Um, was it enough? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Crotail knocked out all, almost all the brimstones. Can the... Oh, yeah, don't, 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 don't just fly laps over it. No, don't, 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 don't. All right, Dagon, go home. I don't want to have you guys freaking out because I blow up another plane. All right, we've got another pass with the satellite coming up. We're going to be picking stuff up from the south. Uh, it's again going to be kind of squeaky because we've really got a big uh, arc coming around. All right, we have got uh, got some more flights getting activated here. Let's see if Cobby's on the ground. I Spy, Romer, Sky Eye, and Loudmouth are going in. Slon Jr. is going in for a landing. Sparkmaster is refueling from Big Pig. Maverick is doing his thing right behind it. We're going to have more birds in the air in a moment. All right, let us see if... All right, they are currently loading up both our cargo planes. So, guys, this is where, if you did not like the angry Cobby voice... Yeah, I don't... Uh... Was he too high? Well, either way, we don't need to operate over there, so we're not going to be uh, we're not going to worry about it. Yeah, switch the guns. Okay. Remember, Zach lost a UAV. Technically, that wasn't ours yet. But don't worry, I, I owe you guys UAV, and I will go good on the promise and procurement. We just won't have it right now. But all right, guys, we have got Kabi on the ground. His forces are about to do their thing. So here we go. Yeah, g'day, Kabi here. Uh, things a little bit tense down this end, but I think we've got it handled. Those uh, planes you sent made it down safe. It's going to be tight sphincters all around on the takeoff, if you don't mind me saying. Oi, mind that crane's a nuclear fucking bomb, you sloppy bastards. You got the boys heading into Savonga for the outski. Uh, Wazoo reckons they'll make it in time, but he's a useless bastard at the best of times. So fingers crossed, eh? Yeah. Good on ya. Oh, on the plus side, found a parrot flapping around at the bomb site. A cheeky bastard seems to have adopted me. <laughs> Calling him Bruce, in case you were wondering. Bruce the parrot. Bruce. Bruce the parrot. <laughs> yeah, it's got a ring to it. Huh. Yeah, call me out. You know, you wouldn't think a parrot would be able to survive in the proximity to a leaking nuclear warhead. But hey, I guess if Cobby's found a new friend, that's good for us. I, I don't mind Cobby having a parrot friend. All right, no, the uh, the ex-wife, I don't know where she ended up. Last we saw, she was with Mitsuhashi. All right, we, we're going to continue on. Uh, once they're ready to load, they'll let us know. We're going to get the big planes, or once they're done loading, rather, we'll get them in the air. But otherwise, let's start moving our flights. All right, we are again going to get a sweep with the satellite. We are going to re-pick up. Looks like we've got some helixes, the mainstay. Uh, that's about it at the moment. We are not getting a terribly good feed out of that. All right, it's picking up some different radars. It's picking up uh, all the ships. Again, it's a pretty ugly, ugly pattern group there. All right, Slan Jr. landed. Uh, Cactuar, Mission Cactuar has been activated. We now have Sonic Assassin <coughs> and Unicorn heading to Mission Point. 
Uh, let's see, they're doing 480. We're going to slow them down. We'll save on fuel a little bit. If I can get them to slow down. Oh, yeah. And behind them, we're going to have Maverick, Sparkmaster. Let's see, I Spy. All right, we just had two more take off. Uh, we've got Hellhammer. Oh, with a sudden pop, the satellite feed from Zach is gone. All right, that is it for the satellite feed, unfortunately. We've got this little bit of data. Let's see how we're looking. Last we saw, we had some radars. We had helixes, and we had a mainstay. Uh, beyond that, we picked up the tall racks down in the Kam Kamchatka Peninsula. All right. We're just going to let our planes uh, get in the air and do their thing. Let's see, Grape Shot. What are you doing, Grape Shot? I'm going to go drop some paveways. Uh, cloud is holding the boat where it should be. All right. Got PC1, RARX. Nessoberry and Burning. Uh, let's see that. Guns, Gun, Guns, and Space Case, and Poppet and Gemini. Got a big pig pigging about. Windmill taking up the rear. All right, we are already losing some of our contacts down by the uh, by the Russians. Hopefully this will save on fuel a little bit. All right, we have blue shift and uh, maximum fuck taken off as well. And Quintanio in the SU-17 fitter. Yeah, look at that plane. Oh, boy, look at the range on that thing. Oh, we got a fresh contact. Oh, dear. What is this? Something way up close. Well, it's about to have a bad day in a second here. Sparkmaster. Can Sparkmaster engage? Yes, it looks like he is. <coughs> <coughs> Sparkmaster is dropping down, losing altitude. We've got uh, Hellfire and Hawaiian Pizza. It's got a brimstone on its way. Oh, we got another mobile. What do we got? They are trying to stop us from loading. Oh, that's some Sam's. We have got bombs. Sparkmaster dropped uh, all of his ordnance. We've got bombs falling, falling, falling. Oh, hey, we actually hit something with some uh, iron bombs. That's cool. Yeah, but on the downside, we've got some uh, mechanized infantry right behind it. All right, we've got uh, Hellfire Hawaiian Pizza firing brimstones. Going to try to remedy that. And here we go. One hit. Two hits. Not enough. Sparkmaster is running. All right. Let's see if we can get Sparkmaster to uh, to turn around and try some strafing runs. This is going to be a problem. We got Grape Shot coming in as well with uh, some paveways. Oh, oh, looks like we got Brimstones coming back in. From Domai and Otter, is that going to be enough? And no. All right, we're going to get some strafing action out of Sparkmaster here. He is going into a dive, losing altitude rapidly, and strafing. Oh, look at that. We have got impacts. Sparkmaster with the 30 millimeter, 82% penetration on the Bradleys. He is spinning around again for another pass. Grape shot. I don't know if uh, we're going to drop altitude on grape shot. 
see if he can get down in time to uh, put a shot on something. Sparkmaster coming in for another pass. Ooh, it looks like we missed. All right, they're going to get some more brimstones coming in. The cloud cover might be too low to deploy weapons out of that, uh, out of the EMX. Oh, and there it is. Brimstone took it out. Hopefully that's the last of our ground contacts. Let's get back into the air, see our air-to-air uh, -air guys, how they're looking. Everybody is holding pretty good. Ice Sky and Roamer. Clear the log here. Uh, we have Whale, Psychosocial, and Peanut are in the air. Quintanio is looking good. A lot of fuel time. Uh, Kafirs are looking good as well. Ventura just took off. In our final Grippin. And we have Windmill moving up in support. We are running a much reduced uh, anti-air wing from what we had coming into this theater. So... It'll be really nice to uh, get a whole lot more stuff. Oh, look at this. We've got uh, an F6 Farmer, a pair of them. Oh, look at the range on that thing. PL2B. Yeah, this thing's got uh, five nautical miles of range. All right. Yeah, we've got a couple of things that are going to be covering the close-up area until Kabi and his boys have taken off. Then we can make all that stuff boogie. I've got some civilians, Whale, Psychosocial, and Peanut. Blue Shift and Maximum Fuck are fucking about. We're going to take time up a little bit. We're going to let all our birds kind of mosey their way on down. And I might send Grapeshot home, because I have a feeling Grapeshot's going to go do Circle 8s over the Crow Tail. We don't want that. People yell at me if I lose another plane to a knowingly... Oh, and the Canadians came out. All right, we've got some uh, F-18 Hornets. Canadian F-18 Hornets at that. Look at that. They even say Canada, just like it says in the promotional brochure. All right, these are uh, some nice-looking planes. This is showing us the radar. They are not emitting, just so you guys know. Just showing us if they were emitting. Let me drop bombs on the LST. Well, we kind of already firebombed. Let me, let me see if I can. All right, let me see what I can do. I'm going to... We're going to lose some altitude here. we got 5,000 feet of clouds. Oh, look at that. Rain level changed. Okay, rain's a little higher. Seed state's now a 6. Temperature, a little warmer. Clouds remain the same. Let's see. We will try to get Grape Shot to go in. See, we might have a minimum uh, release altitude. We'll see. See what Grape Shot can do in this regard. Um, see, so we do a little strafing as well. That's always a crowd favorite. Yeah, I believe the minimum release altitude on our paveway is, yeah, we need to be 10,000 feet to 65,000. So we unfortunately cannot. What can I do? Can I do a manual with the guns? Hmm. Isn't looking like it. Nope. All right. I'm sending Grape Shot home. Mainly, I just don't want to watch him spam all that time. That's the bummer with the cloud cover. But hey, it makes it realistic. I don't think there's anything up that can still buddy lays. Anything is, is covering our extraction area. All right, we got our uh, MiG-19 copy going in with, oh boy, look at the quality in that thing. Yeah. 
Originally that was going to, okay, now you can see we've got some of our birds already going for a top up. And we have got our first bogey. We picked this up. Uh, let's see. I Spy, Romer, Sky Eye, and Loudmouth from the S100 have picked up our first Sea Dragon. You guys know what that means. That is our target. Now I'm going to let everybody else do their refueling, get into position, and then we're going to make a strike mission to go in on that. And that's where it's going to start getting intense. Yes, that is definitely a May. Where exactly it is, I don't know. All right, as I recall from my MCON briefing, the moment that we get, we go on the offensive, that is when we will turn on our jammers. If I am incorrect, please let me know, but I believe that's what we were doing. So one thing I've noticed, and I know a lot of you guys are going to go, duh, but our Grippens have really small gas tanks. Those F-16s can stay in the air forever. Two forevers. F-4s are a little bit better, but not by much. All right, we've got another. All right, we have got three. Three Sea Dragon contacts now. See if we can get a little bit better resolution there. Where exactly they're hanging out in relation. We don't have a good radar contact there. Yes, I am not going to piecemeal in everything. Once all of our units are in position, I'm going to have them get all in one line together. In fact, I might start transferring people at the moment just to prevent everybody from getting all dumb. All right, I'm going to assign you to Warmack. Because it would be foolish for us to put every single one of our planes on the same vector. Once we're all here, I'll have a strike mission. Now, these planes might not be quite that close. They could be up here. They can be back there. We got a little variance there. All right, we've got, uh, yep, still picking up. Uh, what do we got here? Another sea dragon. That gives us four sea dragons in the air at the moment. It looks like one is showing a little bit closer than the other. Once our planes are on station, we'll make the strike mission and we'll go in. Okay, maybe not. It's just the way everything's. We've got another Sea Dragon. They're all going to be emitting. So that uh, doing the periscope radar sweep. Once we get a little closer and once, uh, once Windmill gets into, he's got a pretty good uh, ESM package on him as well. Whale Psychosocial is holding back. Um, oh, we got another mobile. Looks like in the cloud cover, just in the nick of time, our infantry have picked up. Oh, dear, there's some mechanized infantry almost right at the airport. Uh, let's see. Hellfire Hawaiian Pizza is swooping around. He's got three brimstones. We've got Domai and Otter. If they can fire on our planes on the ground, we are going to have a problem. I don't believe they're in range yet. What do we got? Hellfire Hawaiian Pizza. What is Oh, That's nothing of interest. All right. Oh, dear. This could be troublesome. All right. We got two brimstones impacted. Hellfire Hawaiian Pizza has three brimstones left. All right. Oh, and it looks like the threat is gone. They have taken out all of the bad people. All right, that could have been uh, that could have been troublesome. All right, we uh, once we're back to the form up area. Okay, we've got another. Contact, which one is this? Contact report. 
Oh, that's our mainstay. A Schmel 2. Oh, okay. Packages loaded and Kami's troops are ready to go. You guys know what that means. Planes are taking off. Infantry has been loaded. Yes, that's right. They all magically just went to the, the plane. All right. I have a... Get the make a mission, I guess. I guess I forgot. We have our friendly airfield in Canada. And we are going to add a ferry mission. And we are going to take our cargo planes and shift them to that. All right. So the ferry mission, we're going to put our 250. And we are going to put our C-130. And because we're going to simulate a rapid go, I am just going to set them to be ready immediately. So we don't have to wait three hours for them to go. And once they're in the air, we'll get another little message from Kabi. But otherwise, these guys are going to be taken off. They are filled up with Kabi's troops. And the weapon, the device, whatever you want to call it. Looks like Nesso Berry and Burning PC1 and RARX are making the lead. Right behind them, we have got our MiG 19s with Quintanio right on their tail. They are not going to last long on station. Uh, our F4s are going in. Our Kafirs. Maverick is on station. Uh, the Canadians are coming in. Windmills off vector a little bit. All right, we've got another bogey. What do we got? Contact report says another Sea Dragon, another May. Good for us, bad for them. All right, Ventura is getting gas. Topping up his tank. Kafirs are looking good. Now we are right on the very edge of the detection area of that mainstay. So hopefully we can put all of this into practice real quick. All right, one of the maze. We're probably going to have to pick some of our more recent ones. We'll adjust our list as we go. All right, Ventura is making his way back. Make sure everybody is turning manual override off. I want to make sure nobody is on hobble throttle while they're trying to go in and attack. That would be bad. You people yell at me. Tell me how I blew up all your shit, and I'd say it's not my fault. And you'd show me the video, and then you'd prove me wrong. So then it would be my fault, and I don't want that. Because I have run this mission about 96 times. And I don't want anything bad to happen unless it's supposed to happen. And I know how close this is going to be. So we got birds going in. Once we start getting everybody on point, we're going to go in for the attack. All right, we got a line of planes. We are going to let, uh, once our phantoms are in, All right, guys, we're, uh, we're getting intermittent contacts from our maze. This is the point where, according to my MCON, I would go radar live on iSpy. Is this the time? You want me to go live on it? Yeah, the more often I test it, that's right. But uh, All right, are we going radar hot? I'm getting some intermittent contacts. We know there are six of them here. I'm only picking up four. Going live. As soon as I go live, as soon as I get my birds, okay. 
Now, just to clarify, this is only on the S100 is live. Everyone else is not live, correct? No planes live, just the Argus? Well, we're going to do the Saab because it's going to stand back a little bit. You know what? I am almost out of coffee. Okay, I'm seeing only sub, only sub. We'll switch on the fighters if need be. I'll give you guys an opportunity once we get into engagement. Yeah, well, we'll see where the foxhounds are in a moment, won't we, Mr. Surreal Barrel? But I'm going to go get a beer. So you guys hold tight. I'll be right back. Because day drinking. Well, this wouldn't be a proper combat op if I didn't have a beer with me. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's find our eye spy. All right, here we go. Radar is active. Windmill OECM active. All right, we're going to take the time down nice and slow. We're going to give it a few seconds to see what our radar picks up. Yeah, yeah somebody stole my hat. That's right, those bastards. Okay. We're going to get a whole lot of kind. Oh, here they go. We got bogeys. Let's see what we got. All right, we've got a pair of bogeys. Pair of bogeys, one may, single bogey. I think we can all be pretty confident in what these pairs of bogeys are going to be. All right, we've got uh, a couple of things along. We've got one may at the moment. Let us see what we can do. We're going to give a couple more seconds for scan, and we're going to assign missions. One second, two seconds, three seconds. Okay, I believe that's another May. We've got a pair of Mays. 220 knots, 220 knots, 1,000 feet. Our other contacts, we have two pairs, 350 knots at 40,000 feet. All right, it's time for us to assign a strike mission. I'm going to put Sonic Assassin. I'm going to put one Gripen on the south, or now the north group. We'll do two, two on the north, one on the south. We're going to need a lot of fighter coverage there as well to get through whatever these are, though I have a feeling we know what that's going to be. All right, we have our north May. That's going to be May number one. We have a South May. That is going to be May number two. So we have Sonic Assassin is going to be on May two. Unicorn, May one. Nesso Berry and Burning, May two. Pecan, May one. We have got Mr. Yankee. It's going to be an escort. Jalakinta is going to be an escort. Quintanio 
also going to be an escort. We have got, uh, we're going to assign a group of our phantoms to the north and assign a group of the other ones to the south. Uh, the Kafirs, I'm going to assign the Kafirs escort in the north. And Ventura just got gas. Um, hmm. Boy, Ventura is going to be coming back a little bit. Full tank of gas. Uh, we're going to do escort on Ventura. Oops. Hold on. I got to make sure the MCON isn't on here. Passive, passive. I don't know why that popped up. Eh, everybody's passive. Yeah, we don't want anybody turning radar on. I don't know why he just hit his. Huh. Okay. All right, gentlemen. Iron Goons has a long and storied history. Going back to Tibet. This is definitely our greatest threat. We have two targets. IL-38N May, Sea Dragon. We've got two pairs of bogeys. Behind that, we've got a Kirov group. Behind that, we have God knows what else. Every single bird we have is tasked on this mission. So, here we go. Going live. All right, we've got new missions. Uh, let's see. Let's zoom in. Contact report is showing. We've got packs. We've got a pair of packs. In the north, we have got MiG-31s. This is giving us an awfully nasty mix of hostiles coming in. Everybody is tasked on mission. They're going to have to bust their way through. Let's see, Unicorn is. We're getting a good look at all our contacts. Jail Quinta, Mr. Yankee are going on intercept. We got MiG 31s. Maverick is holding back. I'm just making sure nobody's getting in trouble in the back here. Big pig, whale. Canadians are going to be a little late to the party, but they won't engage unless engaged anyways. We don't have a good fix on the packs yet. I don't want to send anybody chasing those just yet. And our computers are going for gas. Because that's how it works. All right, it looks like uh, PC1 RARX is going to be the first one to get in range of these Foxhounds. I don't know how the range on a AMRAM C is going to compare to whatever they are running. We have got full afterburner Mach 1.6. Mm. We got missile in the air. Um, and it is somebody attacking Zabunga. All right, that doesn't really matter because guess what? First base and Pike are gone. So whatever happens there, we don't care. We'll just see what this Bradley happens to do. I'm pretty sure it's a tow missile that came in. Wow, what an inter-opportune time. Um, <laughs> well, uh, let's go back to the air battle that's about to happen. Um, actually, let's get Cobby's second message done with. All right, here we go. This is Cobby's second message in three, two, one. Yeah, g'day, Cobby here. Just uh, checking in with you fellas. We are 10-4 in the pocket. Victor, Victor, Romeo, Tango, Delta. Uh, fucking, uh, actually, I don't know what any of that stuff means. But it looks like we are away, free, and clear. I 
me and the boys just nicked a few tinnies, don't mind telling you. We're feeling pretty good about stuff up here. Hello. Yeah, that's right, Bruce, you tell him, mate. Hello. <laughs> He's a little beauty. Look at his little face. Look at his little cheeky face, Walter. He's a cheeky bugger. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Hello. All right, fellas. You did good. This is Cobby. Out. Oh, that is hilarious. Yeah, I believe our jammers are on. Um, Let's see. Yes, we are jamming. Windmill is jamming as jamming can do. Oh, uh, yep. All right. So we've got uh, Windmill is turning himself around. We are going to get a zoom in here. Oh, we got our first missile coming in. Uh, we don't know what it is. Another vampire up north. Who cares? Uh, let's see. More vampires, more missiles. We've got at least two missiles going in on PC-1 RARX. Ooh, make that another missile. Oh, four missiles. They're adding up. <clears throat> we now have five missiles in the air. Oh, we have one of our own missiles away. PC-1 RARX and Jellicinta are changing vector, trying to dodge incoming missiles. PC-1 RARX is looking pretty good. Ah, uh, he is in a dive. Oh, another missile. Looks like almost at the sea level, trying to lose as much ground as he can. Ooh, this is going to be tough. All right, let's see. Come on. Get flying. Looks like he might have spoofed one. Oh, we got a few more inbound. Oh, and another missile. They are just launching them. 300 feet above sea level. It doesn't get much lower than that. Oh, and spoofed. Oh, but we have Popat and Gemini are down. PC-1 has managed to dodge what came his way so far. Jellicinta and Mr. Yankee. Oh, Quintanio and the SU-17 have been uh, taken out. PC-1 RARX is still holding. Oh, we got a missile coming from a new vector. It's going to be those other two foxhounds. Let's see if that AMRAM is good enough. Wow, these things can sling some missiles. Missile is hot. Amram is going in. Make sure I'm not missing anything here. Amram. Come on. Oh, what happened there? Amram's a hit. PC-1 RAX is the first. Foxhound kill. <coughs> All right, that's looking a little bit better. We still got a lot of missiles in the air. We've still got packs inbound. Jammer is still jamming, hopefully. Oh, that is our MiG-19. Jalakinta is down. We've got guns, 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 and space case is evading. Oh, guns, 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 and space case is down. We've got some flights behind that. Boy, we have just got more missiles coming. Oh, this is just brutal. All right, we have got uh, another missile. PC-1 and RARX, engaged defensive. Oh, we've got a, oh, Zachloway and Red Comet are out. 
Nessoberry and Burning in the F-16 have also been taken out. Hellhammer and Sam Fodder, F-4 Phantoms, down as well. All right, they are... We've got a Meteor going towards one of the MiGs. And, oh, Mr. Yankee is down, and PC-1 RAX is also down. We have got a Meteor that is inbound. Sonic Assassin is about to reach range from something. We've still got PAX inbound. Oh, and that is a missile coming from something out of the blue. Sonic Assassin is doing some dodging. Looks like Unicorn is doing some dodging as well. Sonic Assassin is... See that Mig Foxhound is trying to dodge. Is it going to be enough? Oh, and we did take out the other Foxhound. We've got Sonic Assassin. He is looking good. Still got a lot of missiles inbound. We have Ventura hot on his tail and Unicorn. At the moment, this leaves us with uh, Big Pig. We've got our Kafirs. They're still going for gas. Good to know they're on the job. All right, Sonic Assassin is hitting the deck. Unicorn is going in. Also, let's see, Airborne tasked on mission. Clear the log up here. We've got missiles going in on Sonic Assassin. This is going to be tight. He is right on sea level. Dropping as low as it'll go. It looks like the missile might have overshot. We've got a few more right behind it. Let us see. Yeah, they are making some progress. Still, this is going to be tight. We've got one missile coming in on Unicorn. Oh, Unicorn is down. At the moment, we've got Ventura and Sonic Assassin. Sonic Assassin is still uh, vectored in to go after one of the Sea Dragons. We have got one close one. We are tracking some packs. They are up close. He is engaged. Offensive. Is it going to be enough? Oh, and Ventura turned around for gas. I believe the legs on this mission are just a little bit too much for what we got. Can we get over and reach the last sea dragon? Boy, I think all it's going to take is one meteor to get in close enough. Oh, and oh, and we've got a missile away. Two missiles. They are just running out of gas. Oh. All right, if Sonic Assassin can get clear, he is moving to lose some altitude at the moment. All right, I'm going to start pulling our forces back here, gentlemen. At the moment, this is just, uh, we hit just a huge pack of the maze. Can we get away with the Gripen, Sonic Assassin? Come on, buddy. It looks like, ooh, he might be clear. We got the missiles are doing a dance. Pack is doing his thing.
can we get a missile at see if we can illuminate one of these packs wow these things are like invisible i can't even get a look at them we got nothing we're radar hot these things are both point blank range and i don't get nothing all right, we're killing the radar. We're getting out of here. All right, we are uh, Sonic Assassin is going to be disengaging. Windmill is still jamming. I Spy Rome are on the way back. Maverick is on the way back. Big Pig. Our Kafir is in the Derbies as well. Uh, Ventura is also on his way back. Well, I have to say it is impressive that even at point blank range, our Saab is going off. Saab is now passive. Oh, and Sonic Assassin is down. All right, that's the last one. Windmill is going to go back. We are going to get top speed out of the sob. Looks like 350 relatively slow knots. All right. Canadians are going to be going in, but uh, they're not going to do much until fired upon. Wow, at the moment, we rolled the dice, and looks like we came up with snake eyes. Hellfire, Hawaiian Pizza, Domai and Otter are heading back. First Base and Pike are on their way back. They'll be clear in a moment. We've still got our boats. All right, we'll take the time up a little bit. Engagement is as engaged as it can get. Still getting some feed on our packs, but we never got enough of a contact to get a lock on them. All right, we will. Windmill is going to go passive. Not the best exfiltration that we've ever done, but uh, it's going to have to work. All right, everybody's making their way north. Once we get some birds on the ground, we'll call that good. All right, we're losing signatures on our maze. Oh, I am getting a call from the Navy. Uh, let me see what the Navy wants here. Hmm. Okay, oh, oh, they're giving us a live feed. It's coming from the U.S. Navy. This is... Uh, this is Vladivostok Harbor. Oh dear, that's that's an American boomer in Vladivostok Harbor. Wait a second. I believe we've been duped, gentlemen. We've been duped. Absolutely, that is a that's a boomer in Vladivostok Harbor. There is no subs screening the Kirovs. Ah, I see what it is. We were a lever. Kirovs thought they were coming up and uh, dealing with us. And the Navy was showing the Russians that they can put a sub wherever they damn well please. There's nothing that the Russians can do about it. Oh, looks like the sub is now uh, diving. Looks like they got a trawler keeping an eye on it. Oh, man. 
Makes you wonder, was there any subs even screening that group, group or were we just looking for nothing? Oh, man. Well, I guess the Navy used us like they thought they could. We are just mercenaries. I believe we were bait. <clears throat> wow. Well, that's something else I never would have guessed. Okay, well, we've got all our birds heading in. We've lost any contact and anything behind us. So, uh, well, you know, guys, I uh, I didn't quite expect it to turn out quite as violent as it did. Well, it was going to be violent, but not quite so terrible. In previous runs, there's a big patrol area. And not everything was grouped up like it was there. So we had to deal with, you know, four MiG-31s right off the bat. And then the packs came in right behind. It was just ugly. But, whew. Well, that was intense, guys. Well, hey, rather than watching all these uh, planes go back to base, this is going to wrap up the Bering Theater. We're going to clean up our plane list. And uh, remember, we just made about $375 million bringing that nuclear weapon back now that the, uh, the Swiss are going to get their hands on it. Swiss Guards are going to come take ownership. Then um, at that point, we go into procurement, and we're going to be sitting on over $1.3 billion. We've still got a pretty strong close air support wing. We've still got a jammer. We've still got a Atlantique. We still have two fuelers. We still have a very sexy S100 Bravo Saab. And we have Ventura, who happens to be our lone Gripen pilot that has survived. And then Blue Shift and Maximum Fuck. We went in with about uh, nine, and we walked out with three. All right. I will show losses and expenditures. Here it is. Bearing C, one man pad. They lost all their curtails as well. Icebergs, folks. They lost six Avenger Sams and 24 Bradleys. We killed two Foxhounds. From the Russians. That's it. Our losses are two Falcons, four Phantoms, two MiG 19s, two JAS 39C Grippens, a UAV, and a single SU 17. There it is, gentlemen. That's pretty rough, but uh, now we have an opportunity to go into procurement and do what goons love best. Let's argue about planes. So, uh, I salute you, hired goons, with the, a beer. Davin, don't feel bad. Any mission could have turned out bad. This one just happened to be one of the first. Can't win them all, gentlemen. It's a good thing we get paid. All right, hired goons. Back to you. Thank <laughs> you. 